This video is about the Melanchthon cycles and how they cause climate change. This is another natural cause of climate change along with sunspots, volcanic eruptions and asteroid impacts. The Melanchthon cycle consists of three different processes. The first of these is the orbital theory. This takes place over a 100,000 year interval. During this, or the way this works, is that the orbit of the Earth around the Sun changes from a sphere to an ellipse. When it is spherical, the distance from the Sun to the Earth is fairly constant the whole year round. So the temperature is more constant on the planet and we get less difference between our summer and winter temperatures. When it is elliptical, the distance from the Sun to the Earth varies at different points on that ellipse. So at some points it is closer, but at other points, quite importantly, it is much further away, allowing it to get much colder. So this increases the difference between summer and winter temperatures, causing climate change. The second part of Melanchthon cycles is the tilt of the Earth's axis. This happens over a 22,000 year period. If we adjust the tilt of the Earth, essentially what we do is we move the position of different places on the planet in relation to the Sun. So if we took the UK, we would move it slightly closer to the Sun or further away from the Sun. So this changes the climate in specific places. And what essentially it will do is it will extenuate or increase the variation between seasons in a particular place. So we may have where the tilt is high up, it may be warmer or in the seasons. If it is further back, it may be colder. The overall climate of the planet will stay the same, but in different places the climate will change. The final um, part of the Melanchthon cycle is the wobble, and this is the wobble on the axis. This is probably the most complicated one to think about, but the easiest way to think about it is that the climate in any one place and the global climate stays the same over time. What changes is when we have the different seasons. So it may be that instead of the warmest time of the year being in June, the warmest time is in uh, March. So we get the same climate throughout the year, but at different times. This happens around every 10,000 years. So to summarize, we've got changes in the orbit, so whether it's spherical or whether it's an ellipse, every 100,000 years, and this changes the overall temperature of the planet. We've then got changes in the tilt of the Earth over 22,000 years, and this changes the intensity of the seasons. Finally, we've got the wobble every 10,000 years, and this changes the relative timing of the seasons in a particular place. All three of these cause climate change.